Hello friends, welcome to this session on the transmission line protection series and today we are going to discuss one of the most frequently used terminologies and one of the very important concepts in transmission line protection which is the auto reclosure and I am going to discuss the theoretical concepts of auto reclosure in this session. Basically this session is prepared uh, from the NPAG book which is available on Google as well as uh, some of the concepts are lifted directly from the Blackburn's Protective Relaying book and these concepts are then uh, used in these slides to teach you about the concepts of auto reclosure in transmission lines. The practical implementations of auto reclosure through different numerical IEDs, different numerical protections of suppose Siemens make uh, BCU or ABB and GE make uh, relays that will be discussed separately in the coming sessions. So in today's session, our focus is only for the understanding of some of the important terminologies in auto reclosure. That means what is the dead time, what is reclo uh, reclaim time, what is duty cycles, how auto reclosure are started. These things we will discuss in this session and the implementation we will see in separate session. So now without wasting further time, let us start with today's session which is auto reclosure. So auto reclosing of power line is a very generally accepted practice across different utility, utilities and generally the auto reclosures are implemented for overhead transmission line because the reports from different part of the world has shown that only about 5% faults are permanent in nature. So auto reclosing provides a significant advantage. Auto time generally reduces and auto time is very short compared to where uh, the line is to be energized after every fault manually. So now uh, presently for any transmission voltages above 220 kV or including 220 kV also that means for 220 kV, 400 kV, 765 kV and more generally accepted practice is the single phase high speed auto reclosure. Generally different types of auto reclosure schemes are available. These are the single phase single sort auto reclosure single phase multi sort auto reclosures which are generally implemented for the transmission line which is passing through densely forest areas and where the chances of transient faults are more as compared to the transmission line which is passing through the plain areas. So now the next case may be single phase and three phase auto reclosure. These are generally implemented if your transmission lines are emanating from one of the substations and terminating into some uh, industry, suppose a mining industry. In that case, generally accepted practice is that if your fault occurs for the first time, then suppose, suppose the first time your fault is in R phase to ground, then only R phase breaker will be open and after a sufficient time interval, which is called the dead time, this pole will be reclosed. If there is a permanent fault or if there is a second fault, then your all three poles of circuit breaker will open depend uh, and it doesn't depend whether the fault is in the R phase or Y phase or B phase. Fault may be in any phase in the second case but the relay will issue a three pole trip command and after three minutes the breaker will uh, all three poles of the breaker will close. So generally this is applied uh, in for the transmission line which is terminated inside some mines or some other industries where the stability is not of that much importance. Then the other cases might be three phase auto reclosure which is generally utilized for your distribution systems or sub transmission voltage levels where the three phase auto reclosures are also used. So now uh, what is basically the single phase single stage auto reclosure. In case of single phase auto reclosure what happens is that suppose there is a fault in R phase to ground. So your distance protection relay will issue a tripping command to R phase circuit breaker poles and at the same time it will send a signal to auto reclosure relay and that signal is called AR initiation. Now after a sufficient time interval which is called dead time your auto reclosure relay will issue a closing command to circuit breaker and if there is no fault available now the circuit breaker will close and this completes the first stage of auto reclosure and now the breaker will wait for uh, some more time this may be 20 to 25 seconds which is called reclaim time and if between these uh, reclaim time, if there is any fault, the relay will immediately issue three phase trip command and breaker will go into lockout. So this is the auto reclosing cycle that I am going to discuss in our coming slides 
so before going to this cycle first understand the different concepts of uh, different terminologies of auto reclosure the first thing is dead time so dead time is basically it is required so that uh, you know that whenever there is a fault and your distance protection relay has issued a trip command to circuit breaker pole so what happens generally is your fixed contact uh, moving contact separate from the fixed contact and an arc develops between these two contacts and you have to quench that arc and only that uh, only when this arc is quenched and sufficient dielectric strength has built up between these contacts then only you can close the circuit breakers so now this time which is required for build up of dielectric strength between the uh, fixed contact and moving contact and the for the deionization of the arc is called dead time generally this dead time depends upon your arcing time of the circuit breaker the speed of circuit breaker that means how quickly the uh, moving contact is separating from the fixed contact the fault duration wind condition circuit voltage as well as the capacitive coupling between adjacent conductors generally uh for 220 kv and ever the dead time is selected as 1 second but some of the utility is also uh, selecting dead time as 600 or 800 millisecond this generally depends upon the circuit breaker dp cycle that i am going to explain in our coming slides that how the dead time depends upon circuit breaker dp cycles and what could be the minimum dead time that you can implement in your auto reclosing scheme that we will discuss in coming slides now the second thing is the reclaim time so reclaim time is basically the time during which a new start of auto reclosing equipment is blocked what is the meaning of this new start of auto reclosing is that suppose if uh, r phase to ground fault is there in the system so your distance protection relay will issue a trip command to r phase and after 1 second this auto reclosure relay will close the circuit breaker now after this closing of circuit breaker the first uh, auto reclosure cycle is complete and now since your circuit breaker has operated once for opening and another uh, again for closing of uh, circuit breaker poles so your mechanism of circuit breaker needs some time for healthiness uh, suppose your breaker is uh, spring spring breaker or your spring pneumatic breaker for spring pneumatic breaker the air pressure development or the uh, air pressure which is developed using compressor it takes some time similarly for spring charging of a spring spring circuit breaker the motor requires some amount of time for charging of spring so within that time if there is a fault you cannot operate your circuit breaker again for one trip one close cycle because then it might uh, affect the performance of circuit breaker and there is a chances of failure of circuit breaker so uh, this time which is required for healthiness of circuit breaker mechanism is called reclaim time and during this time the auto reclosure of the equipment is blocked so if a reclosing sort has been carried out and the line is energized and new fault occurs before the reclaim time elapsed auto reclosing equipment is blocked and a signal for definite tripping of the breaker is uh, obtained or transferred so that means if there is a permanent fault or if there is a fault within the reclaim time your uh, auto reclosure relay will issue a three phase trip command and now this fault does, uh, doesn't it doesn't means that fault must be in r phase only the second fault may be in any of the phases it might be in the y phase v phase or r phase but your auto reclosure relay sees that if the fault is within the reclaim time it will directly issue a three phase trip command and or breaker will be in the lockout stage so after the reclaim time has elapsed the auto reclosing equipment returns to the starting position and the re, uh, new reclosing sequence can occurs the setting of reclaim time depends upon your circuit breaker duty cycles which i am going to discuss in our next slide which is this so how the reclaim time is set basically according to this iec publication 56.2 a breaker must be capable of withstanding the following operating cycle and this you must have seen on uh, the circuit breaker name plate which is available inside the switch yard whenever you see a circuit breaker name plate you will see this o plus 0.3 second plus co plus 3 minute plus co what does this means is that uh, your circuit breaker is always ready for one trip operation because the tripping or the opening operation of the circuit breaker is the most important operation you always want your circuit breaker to open whenever you, uh, there is a fault in the system you don't want your circuit breaker to not open for a uh, 
on a fault but always the circuit breaker must open whenever it is desired to or whenever it is required to open so your first uh, o that means your breaker is always ready for one open operation now this point 3s is basically 300 millisecond and after this 300 millisecond only you can close your circuit breaker so uh, this is a general uh, duty cycle this duty cycle says that whenever there is a fault and circuit breaker opens then only after 300 millisecond you can close your circuit breaker so the minimum dead time that you can implement in your auto reclosure scheme is 300 millisecond for this type of duty cycle uh, it depends upon your organization it depends upon the circuit breaker that we have installed in our switch yard that what duty cycle we have selected but for this particular case the minimum possible dead time is 300 millisecond we cannot go below 300 millisecond so generally dead time is set one second so that is fine now after 300 millisecond circuit breaker will close and again this is ready for one open operation so this uh, trip 300 millisecond wait time that is dead time plus close and open this will complete one auto closure cycle and once it opens that means it is a three three pole opening and now this you must provide a three minute of rest time for your circuit breaker that means a circuit breaker uh, operating mechanism will come into the healthy state for after three minutes for this particular uh, not after three minutes but within three minutes for this uh, particular type of circuit breaker so you can set your reclaim time depending upon what type of duty cycle you have but for this particular case if you select your duty cycle uh, anywhere uh, or you select your reclaim time anywhere from 15 to uh, 15 second to three minute it's fine or you can select any value which is above three minutes that is also fine so uh, this 25 second generally for uh, is for older type of circuit breaker where the circuit breaker operating mechanism were spring pneumatic or hydraulic there the hydraulic uh, pressure will build up that uh, pressure build up will take some time and generally the pressure build up or the press, uh, air pressure build up using compressor takes 10 uh, 15 to 20 seconds that's why for safer side the reclaim time is set at 25 seconds nowadays for a spring spring circuit breaker the spring charging will uh, happen within 10 to 12 seconds so you can set the reclaim time even 15 seconds but generally the reclaim time is set 25 seconds as per prevailing practice in future it might happen that the reclaim time of 15 seconds or 12 seconds will also come into picture so now we will discuss the complete auto reclosure cycle i hope that the concept of dead time and reclaim time is clear concept of d2 cycle is clear so now we will discuss the auto reclosure cycle and this is a simple scheme in which uh, this is your protection relay so once the protection relay sees a fault it will operate but before operation it will generally take some time suppose 20 to 30 milliseconds uh, as i have already explained in our first session that although your zone one timing is zero millisecond that doesn't means your zone one will operate at zero millisecond it will take some time depending upon your uh, relay uh, processor speed depending upon the uh, sampling of the your numerical relays depending upon the availability of the current and voltage magnitude depending upon the calculations and the algorithm of your distance protection relays it will take some time so once the protective relay see the fault it will operate after its operating time and it will issue a trip command to your circuit breaker so tripping coil will be energized at the same time it will send an auto reclosure initiation or auto reclosure start signal to the auto reclosure relay this is your protective relay this is the circuit breaker and this is your auto reclosure relay so now once the protective relay has issued a tripping uh, command to the circuit breaker tripping coil your tripping coil will energize and once the tripping coil will energize then in the mechanism box tripping coil will energize it will hit the latch latch it will then operate the operating mechanism and then your operating mechanism will pull the pull rod of the circuit breaker and then the circuit breaker contacts will start separating after the opening time of the circuit breaker the contact will separate and once the contact separates then your arc will start inside the circuit breaker interrupter and after the sufficient dielectric strength has built up your arc will extinguish and this time from the contact separation to arc extinguishing is called the arcing time and 
Once the arc is extinguished and sufficient dielectric strength has been maintained, the contact has separated up to a sufficient distance, your contact will be in fully open condition. Now, once the contact is in fully open conditions, you, if you suppose your uh, breaker has uh, or auto closure relay has a dead time of one second, so after one second, it will this is the dead time, so it will issue a tripping uh, closing command to the circuit breaker. I will explain to you what is this dead time and what is this dead time. This dead time is basically the dead time of auto closure relay. So auto closure relay will issue a closing command after the lapse of this dead time, and this dead time starts from the moment. The auto reclosure receives a uh, auto reclosure a start signal from distance protection relay, and this time will lapse after the lapse of dead timer, which is one second for our particular case. So now it will issue a closing command. So closing coil will energize once again the same different processes inside your mechanism box, and after the closing time, your circuit breaker will close, and it will make uh, your closing contacts will be made. So now. If there is no faults, so your closing contact will be fully closed. This contact make first is your, uh, this is your pre-arcing or the arcing contact. Once your uh, arcing contact touches, your contact will be made. And once these con uh, both arcing contacts and the fixed contact or the main contacts, arcing contacts and main contacts are both uh, properly closed, then the pure circuit breaker will be in the closed condition. And now, your reclaim time will start from the moment of this dead time. The reclaim time is in picture. Basically, this is a uh, uh, duty cycle. This is basically the drawing which is taken from Google. Generally, this dead time starts from uh, reclaim time starts from this moment itself. So now, this reclaim time which starts after the elapse of dead time of one second. So now, if Within this dead time, suppose this, sorry, if within this reclaim time, which is suppose 25 seconds, if there is a second fault, so now your protection relay see the second fault, it will operate, it will energize the tripping coil. Since your reclaim time is in process, so your uh, circuit break or your auto reclosure relay will issue a three pole tripping command and your breaker will be in the lockout condition. So this is the complete cycle. Basically, and now what is this dead time? If you see over here, once your circuit breaker tripping coil is energized, contact separates and arc is extinguished. Once this arc is extinguished from this point till your contact is made uh, inside this relay, this is called the dead time of the circuit breaker. So generally, your uh, dead time of the auto reclosure relay must be higher than the dead time of the circuit breaker for successful auto reclosure. So. I hope this is clear to you and we will keep only up to this point in this session. If you like the video, then please share this video with your friends, with your colleagues and comment in the comment section. Also, if you does not like the video and if you have some uh, any feedback, then you can also comment in the comment box so that you can we can improve from our next session onwards and we will try to improve upon based upon the feedback received from your side. So now, we will keep only up to this point. Thank you and we will meet again in our next session with some new topic. Till then, goodbye.